Norton Motorcycle and Isle of Man DT Racing have a great connection. The Isle of Man DT Racers have a big deal of balls to ride on Isle of Man DT Racing Circuit. It is not a racing circuit, it's a pure road and they are riding fast and they are the real heroes of the racing world. So in this episode, the history of Norton Motorcycle. I am Alvin Vergis and welcome to talk. <laughs> Since Rumflower's twin cylinder Norton won the first ever Isle of Man TT race, Norton has maintained a proud and successful race history. From development to podium, in 2014, dedicated team and engineers determined to honor and repeat the reputations for excellence with new series of victories for a new generation. The Isle of Man TT and a Norton motorcycle have a great connection. After that, we have another great story about Norton motorcycle. In 1952, Chaguera's old friend Alberto Granado, a biochemist, and Chaguera decided to take a year off from their medical study to embark on a trip they had spoken of making years, traveling South America on motorcycle on a 1939 Norton 500cc CS1. The Norton Motorcycle Company is an English motorcycle originally from Birmingham, England, UK. It was founded by James Lance Norton in 1898 as a manufacturer of fitting and parts for the two-wheeler trade. By 1902, the company had begun manufacturing motorcycles with rotten engines. In 1902, a Norton built engine was added to the range. This began a long series of production of single and eventually twin cylinder motorcycles. During the Second World War, Norton produced almost one lakh of military model 16H and big four sidewalls motorcycles. When major shareholders started to leave Norton in 1953, the company declined and associated motorcycles bought the shares. Although motorcycle sales went through a recession in 1950s and Norton Motors Limited was only a small manufacturer, Norton sales flourished. A series of Norton dominated twins of 500cc, then 600cc, then 650cc, and then 750cc, Norton at last kept sales, especially with sales to United States. In 1968, the new 750cc Norton Commando models appeared with the engine, gearbox, swing arm, unit isolately insulated from the frame with series of rubber mountings. This kept the vibration from the rider, giving a smooth, comfortable ride. The Commander was a bestseller and voted number one motorcycle of the year a number of times in Britain. 850cc models appeared for 1973, giving more talk. For 1975, an electric starter arrived in the 850MK3. The largest UK motorcycle manufacturer at the time was BSA Triumph, comprising Birmingham Small Arms Company in Birmingham and Triumph Motorcycle in Meridan. BSA Triumph faced difficulties caused by poor management, outdated union practices, old-fashioned motorcycle design and anti-Q factory conditions. A merger with Norton Motorcycle was proposed, but although Dennis Puri, Norton Motorcycle was by far the smaller partner, Puri effectively secured a takeover of BSA Triumph, forming Norton Village Triumph. In late 2008, Stuart Garner, a UK businessman, brought the right to Norton from some US concern and relaunched the Norton in his Midlands home at Donington Park. 961cc Norton Commando and new range of Norton Motorcycle. On 29 January 2020, it was announced that the company had gone into administration. Administrator BDO were appointed by Metro Bank. The company had begun in court over 300,000 of unpaid taxes due to HM revenue and customs from the original amount of 600,000 with company representatives starting 100,000 in outstanding research and development tax relief was overdue and would substantially reduce the amount of owed. HMRC gave the company more time to pay and the court cases was adjoined until mid-February. There were reports that there had been fraudulent wrongdoing which affected hundreds of pension holders who invested in the company. Norton customers and staff's government minister had endorsed Norton as a millions of pounds of government's grants and loans was provided. An associated business owned by Stuart Garner, the nearby Priest House Hotel, is also an administration being run temporarily by an outside hotel chain. On November 15, 2017, Norton Motorcycle inked a partnership with Motor Royal Kinetic to launch Norton Motorcycle in India. Ajinkia Ferudia, MD, Motor Royal Kinetic is hopeful that Kinetic association with Norton will continue. Though not the same way as it was till recently, Motor Royal Kinetic is Pune-based Kinetic Group business arm dealing in multiple superbike brands MV Augusta, Norton, FB Mundial, SWM and Hoi Sang. On 17th April 2020, it has been reported that India's TVS Motors company acquired Norton Motorcycle Company in an all-cash deal. In short term, they will continue production of motorcycle at Donington Park using the same stuff. So this is the history of Norton Motorcycle. And I don't know what will be the future of Norton Motorcycle with TVS Motorcycle Company. 
I have few question about the future of the TVS motorcycle company and Norton motorcycle company. The question number one is more affordable Norton motorcycles. Question number two, the technology sharing between the two companies. Question number three, TVS motorcycle will use Norton motorcycle to beat Royal Landfield. Question number four, small displacement motorcycle from Norton motorcycle. Question number five, big displacement from big displacement motorcycle from TVS motorcycle and try to expand more international market for TVS. TVS motorcycle will participate in Isle of Man TT race. So this is the few questions about the future of the TVS motorcycle company with Norton motorcycle. If you have any comment about these questions, don't forget to comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Until then, ciao.